So this tut tutorial is going to focus on when you have to subtract greater numbers and you've got to ungroup with zeros. Um, or sometimes it's called subtracting across zeros. This is one of the things that uh, gets, gets every mathematician every once in a while. Um, so on the left side we have a regular problem, 6,000 take away 3,972. And on the right side, we have the beginnings of a proof drawing that might help us as we move along. If you're not interested in that part, ignore that part. Um, when we look at the 6,000, we can see already that if we try to say go to the ones place and take 2 out of 0, we are going to have no luck with that because if I have nothing I cannot take two away from that without getting into some weird math stuff. If that's the case then I need to ungroup something from this top number and regroup it to get to that ones place so that I have something to take two away from. That shouldn't be a problem because 6,000 is more than 3,972. So how am I going to do that? Well, in proof drawing land, I would just take one of those thousands away. And I would regroup it and make it hundreds to start with. Well, how many hundreds are in a thousand? Ten. So I'm going to get my ten hundreds out. In a traditional problem, that would mean that I would take away or ungroup from that 6,000 and leave 5,000 there, and then regroup that to create 10 hundreds over here. That's good for the hundreds place, but we still don't have um, anything in that ones place to be able to subtract 2 from. Don't worry because we'll just ungroup one of these hundreds and we can move that at least at first to the tens place. Well, how many tens are in a hundred? Ten. There's my ten hundreds. So what did we do there? We ungrouped a hundred out of the hundreds place leaving us with nine hundreds and we regrouped it in the tens place, leaving us with ten tens. Just like we see in the proof drawing. Now, again, that's great for the tens place, but we still only have zero in the ones place, and I still can't take two away. So, one more time, let's ungroup ten. We'll make that ten ones. There's my 10 ones in the proof drawing, and over here I'm going to ungroup 10, which leaves, leaves me with 9 tens. And that gave me 10 ones to regroup in the ones place. It looks like a lot, but if you stop and look at each step, each step makes sense. The tough part is to slow down and do that. The proof drawing can help with that. So now, I'm going to move along and try my subtraction. 10 take away 2 is 8, 9 take away 7 is 2, 9 take away 9 is 0, and 5 take away 3 is 2. So the tough part is just ungrouping and regrouping correctly. That proof drawing can really help with that. So what you may want to do now is pause the video and try this yourself on a different problem. Here we have 7,200 take away 4,926. Feel free to pause for a minute, try it out yourself, and then push play again and check your work against mine. Okay, so again, I look at my ones place and 
I can see that I cannot take 6 out of 0. That means I'm going to have to do some ungrouping and regrouping. I'm going to have to move some of the value of the number from one place to another. And I'm going to use my little proof drawing to help me. Well, in this case, my proof drawing is not quite complete. We've got 7,000 and then we would have 200 to go along with it. Now I need to, to regroup some numbers over to the ones place, but I'll start by ungrouping 100 and creating 10 tens out of that. Again, I'm going to ungroup 100 from here, leaving 100 behind, and I'm going to regroup that into 10 tens which is great. I still need to get some ones though. For that, I can easily ungroup 10 and that 10 can be moved into the ones place which would be 10 ones. Super duper! Now, let's see if we can do some straight up subtraction. 10 take away 6, 4, 10 take away 2, 8, ha! Huh, well looky here! I can't take 9 out of 1. I'm going to have to do a little bit more regrouping and ungrouping. I need some hundreds and the only place I can get those is from my thousands. So I'm going to ungroup a thousand and that's going to give me ten hundreds because there are ten hundreds in a thousand. Now, if I ungroup that thousand I have six thousand. Now over here I have, if I look at my proof drawing, I have ten hundreds I'm moving over, but there's a hundred there already. So I'm not going to have a ten here. I'm going to have an eleven hundred. I have eleven hundreds, just like in the proof drawing. Now I'm ready to move on. Eleven take away nine is two, and six take away four is two. For a difference of two thousand two hundred eighty-four. How'd you do? I know the proof drawing thing can seem like a little bit of a hassle, but if you struggle, like many of us do, with subtracting across zeros, it is really helpful to be able to visualize exactly why we're crossing out all these numbers and moving all these other things around, because there's a pretty good reason.